Have you ever wanted to load backups, use homebrew applications, or even revive old channels on your Wii? Well in this video, I'm going to show you two methods on how to install homebrew on your Nintendo Wii. The first does not require an SD card, and can be pulled off just using an internet connection, while the second one does not require you to have an internet connection, but will require an SD card. Anyways, I'm Anton, and let's get started. So let's go over a few things. Firstly, this guide is not intended for the Wii Wii on Wii U, or the Wii Mini. And now if you do something wrong, I'm not responsible for anything that were to happen, but if you follow this tutorial carefully and correctly, everything should be fine. Make sure that your Wii console's up to date on version 4.3, and it doesn't matter which regional version it is. I'll be featuring two methods. The first does not require an SD card, and can be pulled off just using an internet connection, while the second one does not require you to have an internet connection, but will require an SD card. So let's start with the simplest method, which does not require an SD card. All you will need is a Nintendo Wii with an internet connection, and on system menu version 4.3. Just so we are on the same page, I'm going to begin with how to connect to the internet, but if you want to fast forward, you can check out the timestamps below. So on our Wii menu, we will need to proceed to the Wii button in the bottom left corner, and then select Wii settings. Next, move to the second page and select internet. Now press connection settings, then select an open slot. Now select Wireless Connection. Select Search for Access Point. Press OK. And then from there you can select your connection. After entering your password in, press OK and then press OK again to save the settings. Now press OK to begin the connection test. And once it has been successfully connected, it will ask you to update. If your Wii is already up to date, just select no. But if your Wii is already on version 4.3 and you press yes by accident, don't worry as it will just give you an error. If you are having any troubles with the wireless connection, you can try a wired connection if you have a USB Ethernet adapter. But if you are unable to, I just recommend going with the second method in this video which just requires an SD card. Once the internet has been set up correctly, we are going to proceed to the Wii button in the bottom left corner. And then select Wii settings. Next, move to the second page and select Internet. From here, press Connection Settings, the Connection, and then Change Settings. Then move right until you find Auto Obtain DNS. Press No, and then press Advanced Settings. Now we need to enter in a DNS. So in primary, we are going to enter 18.188.135.9. Press OK, and then enter in the secondary DNS, which is the exact same being 18. 188.135.9. Once you've done that, press OK once again, then confirm. Press Save to save the settings. Press OK. It will then proceed to do another test, and it will ask you to perform a system update. Like I said previously, if your Wii system is older than 4.3, then make sure you update. But if you already have it, just press No. Press back twice, and then select User Agreements. Press Yes. Then press Next. Now if you see this blue screen, everything should be working correctly. Just wait here, and don't press any of the buttons. And if your Wii remote disconnects, just power off your console and try again. Eventually, text will begin to appear. Don't worry, as this is completely normal. Now if everything went correctly, you should see this page. And as it states, if you have paid for the software, you have been scammed, and you should demand your money back immediately. And once the prompt appears, press 1 on your controller. And now we are in the Hack Me installer. This should tell you if the Homebrew channel can be installed or not. Most likely it will say that it can be installed. And then press continue. Then move your cursor up to install the Homebrew channel, and select it. It should now ask you to confirm your decision. Just press yes, continue. The Homebrew channel should begin installing and shouldn't take too long. Then once it says success, it has been successfully installed. Now press continue, and then exit. Now you should be in the homebrew channel. If it is empty, don't worry, as the homebrew channel is empty by default, and does not come with preloaded apps. For app suggestions, I recommend checking out this video of my top 10 essential Wii homebrew apps. And I definitely recommend getting the Open Shop channel version of the homebrew browser, as it is a very useful application and will make downloading apps really easy. Now you can press the home button on your Wii remote, and you can either shut down your console or boot to the Wii menu. If you do proceed to the Wii menu, you should have a brand new channel called the homebrew channel which is how you easily access it. 
Also, feel free to change your DNS connection back to normal, as you might have issues with your internet connection. Before we get into the next method, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's free and it really helps out the channel. Let's begin with the second method, which does not require an internet connection. For this method, you will need a Nintendo Wii on System Menu version 4.3, and an SD card that is no more than 32GB in size, and formatted to FAT32. Since we are using an SD card, you will need a device to read and write files onto it. Now in your Wii, go to the Wii button, then Wii Settings. Next, move to the second page and select Internet. And go to Console Information and make note of your MAC address. Now head into the video description and go to the Antimetro website. Click on the Letter Bomb button, which will take you to the Letter Bomb site. First, select your system menu version. Now input your Wii MAC address and once done, complete the CAPTCHA. Ensure Bundle the HackMe installer for me is checked and cut either wire. A file should now be downloaded onto your computer. Unzip the file, and you can do this by using 7-zip for Windows or the Unarchiver for Mac. Insert your SD card into your computer and drag and drop the private and boot.l file onto the root of your SD card. If you happen to have a private folder already, rename it to private old. Once you've done that, eject your SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. Power on your system, and once you boot into the Wii menu, go into the Wii message board and search for a red envelope. It might be in today, yesterday, or two days ago. Ensure the date on your Wii is correct, otherwise you might be unable to find the letter. Once you've found it, click on it, and text will begin to appear. Now if everything went correctly, you should see this page. And as it states, if you have paid for the software, you have been scammed and you should demand your money back immediately. And once the prompt appears, press 1 on your controller. And now we are in the HackMe installer. This should tell you if the homebrew channel can be installed or not. And then just press continue. Then move your cursor up to install the homebrew channel and select it. It should now ask you to confirm your decision. Just press yes, continue. Once you've done that, the homebrew channel should begin installing and shouldn't take too long. Then once it says success, it has been successfully installed. Now press continue, and then exit. Now you should be in the homebrew channel. If it is empty, don't worry, as the homebrew channel is empty by default and does not come with preloaded apps. For app suggestions, I recommend checking out this video of my top 10 essential Wii homebrew apps. And I definitely recommend getting the Open Shop Channel version of the homebrew browser, as it is a very useful application and will make downloading apps really easy. Now you can press the home button on your Wii remote, and you can either shut down your console or boot to the Wii menu. If you do proceed to the Wii menu, you should have a brand new channel called the Homebrew Channel, which is how you easily access it. Anyways guys, that wraps up the video. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Be sure to check out my other Wii Homebrew tutorials, which can be found in the playlist in the description and the title card on screen now. If you are having any difficulties, check out my Discord server or comment down below. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.